Well, we're going to turn now to a horrifying tiger attack at an exotic animal park. A female worker mauled doctors pulling off incredible efforts to try to save the woman's arm. This attack raising a lot of questions once again about the safety of these so-called backyard zoos. ABC's Rob Nelson is here with more. Hey, Rob. Hey, guys. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Some terrifying moments for a worker at a zoo in Oklahoma, the victim of a violent attack that is yet another reminder of the danger of working with wild animals. This morning, we're getting a closer look at the zoo in Oklahoma, where a female worker was brutally attacked by a male tiger early Saturday morning. The incident happened here at the Garold Wayne Interactive Zoological Park in Oklahoma. According to park spokesperson Joe Shree Vogel, the tiger bit the woman's hand, violently pulling her arm into its cage through a hole just four inches wide. Shree Vogel says despite initial fears the worker would lose her arm, surgeons were able to save it. He says she's doing well, but admits the attack was her fault. Every once in a while, you know, people let their guard down working with, with animals like this, and they forget that they're animals. Tree Vogel says this is the first incident of its kind to happen at this small zoo in rural Oklahoma, where he also lives and performs. But this is hardly the first time we've heard of animal attacks at these so-called roadside zoos. In 2005, 17-year-old Haley Hildebrand died from injuries she sustained while posing with a tiger at the Lost Creek Animal Sanctuary in Kansas. The tiger lunged at her and attacked her and uh, got her by the back of the neck. Zookeeper Jack Hanna says not everyone is equipped to tame the wild kingdom. I know it can happen. I've seen this after 45 years of working with animals that when you're dealing with a a wild animal, you have to be very careful with what you do. The park says this tiger will not be put down, although the animal has been quarantined and will not be returning to the public exhibit anytime soon. Now, at the time of the incident, the victim, who has not yet been identified, was wearing a goose down and leather jacket, and it's believed the jacket may have gotten stuck in that cage or that the tiger was actually attracted to its smell. And even though the zoo blames the employee for what happened, the incident remains under investigation. Meanwhile, though, the Humane Society of the U.S. called this zoo substandard and says it has a history of animal attacks, calling it, quote, guys, a ticking Time bomb. Yeah, the Humane Societies really work up about these roadside zoos. It was, it was a pretty harsh press release the other they sent out about this. All right, Rob, thank you.